Hello and welcome back to my let's play on Total War Free Kingdoms with Liu Bei on a legendary difficulty. Where last time we left off, we had attacked Huang Shao, the main Huang Shao army. He already ran away actually, so if we win this battle, the army will just die and fick off. So, what have we got against us? We've got a, a unit of archery masters, which sounds pretty good. Uh, oh my god, they've got 58 ammunition. That's madness. That is a lot of ammo. <laughs> Guess we gotta kill them off soon. There's only 120 of them though. That's interesting. Okay, so we got a couple of peasant archers, uh, yellow turban archers, which are a little bit better than peasant archers, okay? We've got a couple of yellow turban warriors, which are just an okay unit. I guess they're kind of similar to saber cap or, or saber militia, I assume. Yeah, it looks similar enough. Um, a couple of peasant spearmen, which are quite bad, so I don't have to worry too much about that. And of course, these guys, he's actually a little bit wounded too. Uh, so the one thing actually that I'll, I might be able to tell here, actually, um, is it going to tell me anything? Veteran? No. All right, so because I, I, I don't actually know what the roles are yet. Uh, he's a scholar. There you go. Excels at engaging enemy generals and highly skilled foes, but easily overwhelmed. Okay, that's good to know. So he he gets easily overwhelmed by units, but he's good against uh, ki he's good at killing people. Uh, the veteran. It doesn't tell me what the veteran is though. He doesn't. It doesn't want to tell me about that. Okay. Uh, and then there's the healer. Okay. So well, he he's a champion essentially. I'm pretty sure the veteran is is like a vanguard, good against uh, units. And then the healer is probably like the uh, oh, don't attack me, please kind of character. That sounds very accurate, isn't it? All right, let's do it. We only have was it four archers ourselves? We have got a bit of a like a weak archer army here. So far, it's kind of weird. This, like in Shogun 2, I would never go for having like six archers and then also four cavalry because you just don't have enough melee infantry. But in this game, from my experience so far, I tend to every single time I tend to go for like four cav and then six archers. So you have ten units, but again, and then you only have six units left over. I'm sorry, you have eight units left over. So you have eight melee infantry, but it tends to be enough. Anyway, they've. Uh, Parked up on that hill right there, so that's okay. We, we yeah we are at an archer disadvantage, but of course again we have that ability from uh, Liu Bei, so we, we have a, a good defense against archers as well. So let's just set up. Uh, I'll put you guys on like the sides. Oh, God, eighty men is really small. You know what? I'll just put you guys behind. Don't want you to die right off. Oops. Uh, let's park you up front and you kind of there as well. Liu Bei can get a little bit further back. Um, Alright, so then I want the swords behind those guys. And then I want all the spears, which is currently a couple too many. Those are the units that are going to get replaced by... Um, I can just spread them out further. So, like, I want to keep them close so I can... I, the buff also buffs them, like the, the archer resistance buff. But if I keep them at the back, they won't get shot anyway, so it doesn't matter. Um... Yeah, normally I would have replaced these two of archers as well, but I might still do that. So I'm not entirely sure what I'll do yet, to be honest. Okay, we got him. Let's uh, get a move on. Oh, that was not what I meant to do. Yeah, so they are going to sit right there. They do actually have a bit of a heal, but that's not too bad. Alright, so we start moving up. Uh, also worth checking, actually. Anyone want to get murdered? They're out of range. They actually do want to. Okay, well, let's run you up and start dueling people. He doesn't want to duel. He's actually, he's the one who's good against enemy generals, but he doesn't want to duel. Okay. Well, I'll take on this healer first, because she's apparently the weakest. Uh, because we need to kill her in 113. I'm very surprised that these people actually do want to duel, though. She might even target me. Uh, he's targeting me. Uh, fair enough, I'll take you on first, then. That's fine by me. All right, and she lost the initial bout, but then, boom, got wrecked. I imagine she doesn't want to duel after this fight, but we'll see. All right, one or two more strikes and he's dead. There you go. We uh, regained some health again from that. Get back on your horse. And now she wants to duel as well. Okay, let me just uh, let him get back on his horse real quick. Quick, 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 quick. <laughs> oh, you turned back, okay, good. Get on your horse. Get on your high horse. Okay. Alright. <laughs> Good luck in your second duel, Guan Yu. Just kill all the generals. Hey, you won that first bout this time. He didn't even get a proper charge off. I don't know if we did any damage there. Slap his horse on the butt. Get out of your horse. 
All right, now this she's a healer, so I can't imagine it's going to do particularly well. But also got our 15k damage again soon. She's already taking massive amounts of damage. Every time we win a duel, we get loads of HP and stuff as well. This might just kill her, honestly. She doesn't have that much HP to begin with. She's like 40 something. Goodbye. Alright, next! Get back on your horse, Guan Yu! You're being char- oh shit, he's charging you! Damn it, he's ruined it. Okay, you know what? You know what? Fuck you. Shit, everyone's a bit far away. We're all still getting into position, in fact. Okay, everyone besides Guan Yu. Make your way over there, please. You especially need to get in there now. Oh god, Guan Yu's gonna take damage here. Are you on your horse? Yeah, yeah, okay, okay, get back, get back. He's our champion, he's not gonna be good against taking on those units. If you're not fighting your hardest, I just killed two of your generals, man. And you're being led back now. Do you want to duel him? Doesn't want to duel, fair enough. Oh, he's catching us. <laughs> oh, he's turning back. Smart move. Get out of here. Why? Right, where are your friends at? Oh. Oh, there's one of them. Where's the other one? Oh, that's sad. Two people dead in the army, both generals. You should deter- Oh my god, they're almost routing already. I didn't notice this. I should have I should have gone harder then. I'm gonna charge you in there actually. Just like that. Would have been mad if someone actually did route there. I mean they are super low. Uh, I need to get my cav out to the flank. And you two as well. And then Yeah, this whole Okay, Guan Yu, yeah, you're a bit weak right now. Let's let's hold off on using you again, to be honest. Uh, just move up here. We're well into range right away, but it's okay. Are you slow, or is it just me? I know you're fat and all, but I don't really want to fight him. He'd probably still win. But you're a vanguard. He's a he's he's good at get, killing enemy enemy generals here. We're taking quite a bit of damage already. I saw that chunk come out of him there. Let's not do that. Let's not do that, shall we? Yeah, we're, ta we're taking big chunks here. This is not good. Okay, we're, uh, we must be getting into range of them now. Let's actually just move you guys all the way up. Yeah, you took a bit too much damage there, to be honest. We are being shot, well. How about we don't get shot instead? I know, it's, it's crazy. But there it is. Uh, I'm gonna run you guys up as well. Yeah, he actually will. He will be. Do, he will do quite well against my dudes. I just realized. I'm surprised he doesn't want to do Liu Bei as well, though. He probably messed Liu Bei up quite well. Oh my god, they're running. Well, I guess they got shot a bit. So that's fair. They got shot a bit, didn't I? Okay, so we are taking significant damage on these guys now, but so be it. Um, you kind of go around. You charge in there, you charge in there, you charge in there, as will you. Two of you charge there. Actually, why don't you charge him specifically? Vision is getting wrecked, it's fair. Alright. Uh, time for you to make a reappearance now. And the cavalry definitely needs to make it an appearance. Shut up. Shut up! That unit's very low. Kill him. Alright, get in there, boys. Uh, Guan Yu. You can make your way over here again as well, to be honest. Let's get you in here somewhere. We actually have a unit routing right now. That's not good. And again, his army is almost entirely routing now. The snow is not helping our movement. The fact that he was defending didn't really help us there. Okay, this unit's running after this one, so let's turn around and kill it, alright? All right, kill it. Kill these 25 dudes. Good enough. All right, why don't we just have all the lords murder this man, please. Use your hamstring ability as well. He needs to be in melee for it. There we go. Oh, it just went out of melee again though. Oh, there it is. Fuck yeah. This unit's completely unscathed, the Militia of Virtue. Oh my god, he's dead though. Wow, he died quickly there. Uh, actually, let's have one of you guys keep charging after. Just gonna kill this one unit here, just charge it properly in the back and we should be good. Wish you had a unit route and come back. 
Okay, this should be a pretty good downhill charge right here. Evaporate. Oh yeah, look at that. 23 men remaining. Fair enough. Okay. Um, oh, this unit. I think this unit's got infinite morale. I think that's the problem here. Uh, which one are you? Okay, so you, you, you. Go back. Let's not stay in melee with an, a unit that will counter you. You. Get in there. You kind of move over here. Get rid of their melee evasion. Yeah, these guys have got infinite morale, I think. Do that. Oh, it's... Wait, no, that's my guy. There's one right there. And... Still going strong? What's he doing? He's trying to escape now? Oh, he just fell over. Oh, he got run down, I guess. So oh, that means we won, right? Yay! We did it! Alright, the only real unit that took a lot of damage is this one right here. The rest is actually fairly, well, they've taken a bit of damage, but fairly unscathed. And the army will be dead, so that is good too. He got 55 kills, that man. He did a fair amount of damage. I mean, to be fair, he's a, he's a, a legendary warlord too, so he wasn't, he's not bad. But he's, he did better than I expected him to. Alright, cheeky bit of money. I won't say no to that, and I'll take the money because 2% replenishment is not going to do too much for me. And then we are going to start heading towards Dong City. I could uh, force march right now. But I won't replenish anymore. If I do though, I can get into the town. I won't use as many supplies. So that's a kind of a... No, I think it's still fair. Because we're going to be in our own province for a little bit anyway. So we're not. We're going to replenish those, uh, those uh, anyway. So I better just take the actual replenishment right now. Anyway, we got ourselves a level up on Liu Bei again, so now we can go for morale and defending, but it's only when he com he's commanding, and again, he's not commanding right now. Replenishment, same thing, not too worried about that. Uh, unbreakables, meh. Disciplined and faction support, I think that's probably okay. I don't, I don't care too much about the disciplined point, but the faction support's not bad. Um, yeah, I'll take that, that's fair. I could also send him down towards... Han, or uh, towards towards Langye, uh, the small city Langye, and then we can take that. Um, because we do need this for our mission, which makes sense to do that now, I suppose, but... Eh, I'm not that worried about it. Um, we've taken most of them down, though, so, like, if we were to attack, we probably should do it now, because if I go over here, and then they decide to attack Taishan... That'd be pretty bad. So I think, yeah, I think we'll keep going for them. We'll take them out here and then we'll head back over here. Maybe we can get some alliance or friendliness with um, uh, with Wang Xiao. Because we're going to be going to war with Cao Cao at some point. I can guarantee that. We are rivals with Wang, Wang Xiao. This one's kin was killed in battle against my army. How easily family bonds are cleaved. Too bad for you, my friend. Alright, we got a little bit of money, but we can't spend it on anything, so that's all fine. Um, I probably will change over these two units to archers now. In fact, do I, do I do it now? Yeah, I guess I do. Why not? Um, yeah, yeah, that's fair, yeah. They're also cheaper, so, you know, increase my income a little bit. 60 bucks extra per turn, I won't say no to that. Uh, okay, I think that's all we can do for now. How close are we? We're not very, no, we're not very close to the second marquee at all. Okay. Kong Rong wants military access. He's willing to pay me 482 bucks for that. I feel like I'm never going to go to war with Kong Rong, and being friends with him is probably going to help me. So I think for the moment, I will take I will take that. Uh, I'm already getting money from you per turn. 257. Alright, so 482. Let me just see if I can get that. Probably not. Nope. Nowhere near. Um, okay, so I'll take the uh, regular payment then. 482. Okay, sounds good. Military access is fair. Yeah, whatever you just said, man. I totally agree. 100%. Right. Uh, Zhang Yan declared war on the Elitarian Rebellion. It's fair. We got a another red furrow bread, which is not exactly what we wanted, because we already have one of those. You know, and actually, this is a red stellion. This is better than that one. This is a, a, high, a tier higher than this one. Uh, I'm still going to give that one to Guan Yu, though. 
increases. It doesn't, because uh, currently he's getting plus two. Um, so currently he's getting plus two resolve, which is better for him because he's, you know, green, green, you want to green. Um, so he gets four instinct instead, but he's pretty fucking good on instinct as well, actually. Increases his melee damage and, yeah, the charge bonus and the mass, etc. is just better. It's going to make his um, charges even more effective when, when he jumps into a duel, so that's not bad. Uh, looks like that's the fastest way to go. What about this way? Would it still be... It would still be three turns anyway. Just about. Yeah, I could, if I wanted to right now, force March the first turn, and then I can actually attack it next turn. The thing is, though, I think there's a pretty large army in there, so I'd have to... Well, I might have to siege him out anyway, to be honest, but... I mean, one more... It's it's tempting, to be honest, to just force March right now. I would lose the Trish... Or I would lose the... Um, I kind of need to... The, no, okay, yeah, let's just move normally. Do I move there or here? Uh, I'll move here. I think this is better. I need the supplies to go up as well. If I go in there now, I just won't get the supplies. I think I'll take one more turn of replenishment. It's not going to be much replenishment. In fact, since I'm going to... if Yeah, no, I should have gone into Dong Town. Because I wouldn't have... I, I'm, I'm still not going to be able to get there next turn anyway. So I might as well just go on into the town itself. And then still take two turns, but I would have had more replenishment. Oh, well... You learn from your mistakes. So, here's the thing. Normally I like to go for the military markets. I think having, having military supplies is pretty solid. Um, right now though, I'm not entirely sure. I would I like more trade agreements, but I don't think there's anyone around me that I could possibly trade with right now anyway. Um, I can't see your damn trade. Mr. Wang Lang. Yeah, he's got one out of one. He's already trading one. We will be meeting one Xiao soon, so possibly with him. But I think um, I think I'll go on for something else right now. I, I could also increase my trade influence, which increases my uh, the amount of money I make from trade, which is not bad at all. But I think for the moment it makes sense to go for the uh, military supplies because we'll need to get it at some point anyway. We are making fair amount of money, so I'm not too worried about making more money right now. We're making 1281, and we can't have another army, so we're just going to go up and up and up basically. Um, of course, I don't know if you guys knew this already, you probably did, but I can't build more than one building at a time in a commandery. So I, even though I have the money for this, I can't, like, it's impossible to do that. So that's why it's currently not happening. Uh, you're still there for two turns, okay, gotcha. It's probably going to be quite a large army in there, to be honest. Wang Lang wants a non-aggression pact. The thing is, I think I'm going to attack you at some point, Wang Lang. I'm afraid. I'm sorry, but, uh... I can't help you there, man. Nah, because he's right down there. And stuff's going to happen with Tao Kwan. And then Wang Lang's going to be bordering us right away. So I'm sorry, man. But you, you're such a prime target right now. I'm not interested. I've got enough friends around here. Yellow Turban, the Rebellion, is dead Zoid. But that's not really relevant. Alright, so now we move on the city. Is it currently Autumn? It's summer, okay, never mind. I was going to say, that, that could suck. Uh, do I try and set up an ambush? 80% chance of an ambush, that's pretty solid. Only 25% movement left over, so right there, sure. Yeah, there is a pretty large army in there, plus the garrison itself, plus these are all replenishing for another turn as well. That's a lot of units, so I'll have to set, uh, siege them out for sure. Uh, let's ambush them. That would be good if I could ambush them right now, that would be fantastic, but I don't think they're going to move towards me. Alright, and another turn. Peace? <laughs> you disgusting piece of, sh piece of shit. Alright, so I, c I can't negotiate with him. He's, he's a Yellow Turban Rebellion. Uh, he doesn't, or he's not like high enough in rank for him to be able to actually do any more diplomacy. Once the Yellow Turban Rebellions get higher in rank, faction rank, uh, they get to do more diplomacy, but while they're at a low level of, I think it's called balanced, uh, they can only offer peace. They can't do anything else. So I can't get anything out of this right now. Obviously, I want to take their town, so... I'm afraid I'm not interested. Unfortunately, our um, ambush didn't work, but he did recruit more units.
，又有多少人蠢蠢欲动 ？All right, Dong Zhuo is dead. Fall of the tyrant. The minister Wang Yun is plotting the overthrow of Dong Zhuo. No longer, longer willing to suffer the tyrant. It is said that Dong Zhuo's adopted son has been manipulated into striking the killing blow. Blow. That's Lu Bu. And Dong Min is now the faction leader in the Dong Zhuo faction. So the, even though he's the leader, the faction is technically still Dong Zhuo. So we built a building, which means we can build another building. I don't want to upgrade this right now because it costs me food. I don't have food. Which is going to be problematic when we take this town, which I believe, yeah, it's level four. Level four takes two food, so that's actually going to be a problem unless they have food buildings, which I don't know if they do. Doesn't matter though. Oh man, that is some horrible loss of. This is why we need the extra plus eight per turn, because that's going to put a damper in that. I don't know exactly if we can siege them out for very long. I may have to just actually do the siege, which I don't really want to do, so I don't know exactly what's going to happen there, but we'll see. Either way, for the moment, uh, let's go ahead and upgrade this building, because it gives me more money straight up. It's nice. You can go away now, so I can actually do that. And then we will siege the city. So yeah, if we do this right now, it's actually a defeat, and we lose mana, they don't. So I'm gonna sell it, I'm gonna siege them out. After two turns, they'll take attrition. The problem is that I don't think I've got enough supplies to actually do this. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll siege them out for a couple turns and see what happens. Yeah, I'm losing a lot. Surprisingly, a lot. Like, I don't know why I'm losing this much right now. Well, I mean, I do know. I just... I. For some reason, I've got experiences for this game where I don't lose as many as I do right now. But we'll see what happens. Uh, we've got a level up on him as well, which is nice. How about you add um, plus 20 military supplies in all provinces faction-wide? Um, okay, so we've got uh, melee armor piercing damage for his army and attack rate for himself. Or uh, plus 5 public order and administered commandery. Um, which is... And also the assignment contract corruption. It's not bad, but I'm gonna go for that one. It's pretty solid. Okay, so yeah, we'll siege them out. I guess we'll hope that they come out or not, or that they come out, and then if they don't, we'll have to wait and see what happens. Because I'm gonna be running out of supplies, and I will actually start taking attrition. But there's not much I can do about it, unfortunately. Except, oh, we sell it out, perfect. Okay, so it's gonna be a difficult battle, but if we win this one, then we can just take the town afterwards without any issue. Um, okay, so the garrison is the captain, two white, oh, sorry, one white wave veteran, one yellow turban warriors. White wave veteran, a little bit better. Couple people's warband, they're not quite peasant units, these are actually units, but they're still not fantastic. Yellow turban archers, then the actual army has a bunch of peasant archers, so that's okay. Peasant spearmen, that's okay. People's warband, peasant warriors, so this is like that unit, except, um... They're a melee infantry instead of a spear infantry. Um, Reclaimers. There's a couple units here that are not too terrible. He's also a legendary uh, commander, I think. Because he's got like a, like a yellow a golden glow below him, basically. Interesting. Yeah, he's got a full on bar there. Actually, that could be what, what's causing that. Um, anyway, let's do it. We got it. I mean, we have to do this fight. I can't do it any other way. It's never going to get any better than this. I think what I should have done is... I should have forced March uh, a turn sooner, and then attack them a turn sooner, because they would have had, wouldn't have would have had that extra turn of replenishment. Uh, I, I got to replenish as well, but they replenished clearly a lot more than I did, so... I don't know. I probably should have just, um, should have just forced March in the end, but... We got a nice little uh, little hill here, though. Some forest on top too, so we're gonna have that ranged uh, defense, which is pretty solid. Um, I can actually show you guys. That's uh, another nice feature about this. If you hover over when you've got units selected, so yeah, plus twenty five percent range resistance. If we choose a cavalry, then it says minus ten percent speed and minus ten percent melee evasion for medium cavalry. Uh, this guy's light cavalry. Okay, so they don't have that debuff. That's cool. So okay, right. Um. That's actually kind of interesting to f see here. So yeah, these guys have got quite a bit more speed than them. So what I should do 
is I should specifically have these guys out for killing the uh, archers and have these guys just uh, chase off the or kill out the infantry in the back or charge the infantry in the back. Okay, that's probably what I'll end up doing then. Right, first off, archers. I'm gonna actually probably set my. Or do I wanna go further back? I'm not sure. The thing is, if I go. If I go in the forest, then my charge is gonna be a lot less effective as well. So I think I wanna actually go just. Like, just on the edge of the forest, so I get the range protection. The charge is gonna be not great anyway because we're charging uphill, but that's alright. So yeah, let's put the archers here. Uh, I'll probably wanna put them closer together actually so we can benefit from the buff from Liu Bei. Yeah, that gets all of them, no problem. Alright, then the sword units, I think I'm gonna... Well, let me just back you guys off for a second here. So the sword units are gonna be like that. And then I'm gonna put, like, spears around them, essentially. We're not fully in the forest, but if I move forward, we should be. And then free on this side as well. Like that. We need to be defensive, because they definitely have an infantry advantage over us here. So then I put you guys out here... Uh, and I'll put... Actually, oh, that doesn't work. <laughs> what am I trying to do? I tried to do that, but here for some reason. Yeah, I want to get a light one out on the, the side. And then the same goes for here. So you guys both like that. And then the light one's going to go out... Well, they have a different icon. No, it's the same icon. So the light one's going to go out and kill the uh, archers. And this one's going to go charge stuff at the back. And then you're going to go out here. Possibly jewel someone if they want to. And you can also kind of just murder people. Okay. I think that's got to be that. Let's start by moving the army up. While maintaining the forest. I might actually want to... I might actually want to put my archers on the second line right away. Just to make sure I actually have everything exactly where I need it to. I think in fact I am going to do that. So let's just take the archers here. Plop them back here. Because we're still in the forest anyway, so we still shouldn't take any damage. Regardless. And we'll poop you... Poop, poop. We'll put you guys just over there. Put your just forward a little bit more, I think. Not you. And then we'll go like... That. And then we should hopefully still have everyone in the buff. It's mostly about the front rank now, though. But again, we're in the forest, so that shouldn't matter. Even you guys are hidden fully, so that's okay as well. Plus, we get the range resistance, so that's all good. This shit is a bit weak, which I don't like, but there's not much I can do about that. Okay, let's just kind of put you guys like that. That said, there's still so much forest here that I think if we charge into that, we're still going to be uh, not having any luck with our cavalry. So I think I need to go even further forward like that. Then our two sword units like that. It doesn't show me if it's still foresty or not. Let's just find out when we put them there. Let's see if they're hidden or not, first of all. Why don't you start going over there, walk, see if we can uh, find anyone to murder. And all the archers are actually kind of in a weird position now, so let's put them back over here. Actually kind of put like, more like this maybe? Three in the middle, and then one kind of outwards that way as well. Don't know if that helps or not. Okay. Uh, we are all hidden except for you, you, actually. Okay, so you need to go back a little bit then. I think we just need to kind of put them back a little bit like that. Because there just isn't enough actual hiding place, and you guys want to go further that way anyway. Okay. Okay. Everyone's hidden now. Uh, I'm gonna start putting you guys up further as well. And then the same goes for you. I put them in that bit of forest. I don't know if I can get there. Yeah, we should be able to get there in time. Just gotta get there quickly. All right. Does anyone want a jewel? This guy is hidden, so I actually don't know yet. Shh, okay, the Scholar wants to duel with him, but we don't want to duel with him, because the Scholar is, as we found out, good against... <laughs> what? We're not even fighting yet, mate. Um, the Scholar is good against 
other general, so we don't want to have Liu Bei fighting someone who's good against other generals when Liu Bei is bad against other generals. Okay. I'm not sure about this, to be honest. This formation looks absolute trash, by the way. It's not even remotely symmetrical, but it's gonna have to do for the moment. Alright, you guys made it in there, you're still hidden. You guys are not- okay, let's just triple speed this for a bit, because I don't know what- Oh, you're boom- okay, okay, goodbye! No, we don't- we don't actually want him to go away. We do want him to run, though. They were- they were running for a bit, another walk-in. Be nice if they start running again. Let's get tired before we even get here. That'd be grand. Alright, we can see all three of them now, so would anyone want to duel you? Nope. Nope. Yeah, so she wants to duel him, but obviously we don't want that, because that's terrible for us. Right, look, Guan Yu's right here. Just follow him, and you'll find my army. Don't go too far this way, because there's a couple of cavalry hidden there who are going to charge you in the back momentarily, so... But they are actually sprinting now. Unfortunately, units don't get tired very quickly in this, but... Come fight me! I feel like this is something that Guan Yu would do. Perhaps even did. Did they somehow know that those guys are there? I feel like I saw some stuff going off on that in that direction just now. Okay, let's not get shot by arrows. Yo, the army's right here. Just Oh god, he's coming. He's a cut. Oh, she's coming. Okay, I was gonna say, let's put my archers off fire at will. She's like, why are you running away? Why are you running? Maybe I should charge her. She is good against other generals, but... If I can make them use a bunch of ammo on Guan Yu, I think I'd take that. Let's see what they do in response to this, because currently they seem to be full-on stationary. Oh, is she turning around? She's letting me charge her on the side! Nice one. I did fuck all, though. You might want to turn around Guan <laughs> Yu, Jesus. They're charging into their lines. Another one. Okay, we're kind of getting tired here. Just stay in melee with her and use your ability. Oh, what the fuck? It was an ambush! Okay, I kind of want to use that ability. Nope, that's going to miss. Don't use it. Alright. Well, if we can have one unit come forward and get it shot to pieces, that's probably quite good. They got shields, though. Our men are spotted. What the fuck? Who? Oh, our archers. Right. That's fair enough. Hasn't made them come towards me, though. Okay, you might want to get in there and start murdering them. I don't think we're murdering them fast enough with archers. In fact, I might want to turn them off fire at will. Let you do all the work here. Together. Brother. Okay, they're all coming properly now. Okay, they haven't spotted them yet, thankfully. Oh crap, they're coming over now. Okay. Let's ignore this. Ooh, we actually almost made a route. Damn. Okay, let's make sure I don't forget to do this again. Wait, is she following us? She is. Okay, 2v1 her then. Come on. Probably not the greatest fight, but... Fuck me, they've got a lot of infantry. Okay, you know what? You start distracting units. Okay, we routed one unit. This dance is going to be fine for a bit, that's fine. Uh, we are being shot back at, I think. Not really. I don't know if Guan Yu's winning that fight. Yeah, we're taking some damage now. Okay, I don't really want to leave him out there, to be honest. But we are letting our archers do a lot of damage right now. And that's pretty good. But then again, this is not letting us use our cavalry at all. Definitely seeing health drop. And they're kind of stuck in there as well. So maybe I should bring him out now. We've done a, a lot of distracting. Oh, we routed the unit. Wow. Okay, that one there. Okay, Guan Yu, you might want to get out of there as well. Zhang Fei's managed to get out. Oh, they're running back! What? what kind of strategy is this? We're almost out of ammo already on some units. This is grand. Okay, well, we've done a lot of damage with ranged units. If we can use all of our ammo before the fight even starts, that's probably quite good. Actually, just get this unit here by itself. Splash damage on this uh, people's warband unit. Okay, that's how much oh fuck me, they've charged in. Okay, well that's fair. That's fair enough. Okay, time for you guys to get around here, I think. Actually, no, just the light ones, right? 
you can stay in here. Okay, let me help out here as well, I suppose. You're you are a tank of a man, so you're good out to do that for a moment. There's still some uh, experience back there, unfortunately. You can get in here, but I gotta wait for this one to fuck off. I think that might be units coming over from. No, that one didn't come out from routing, did it? I don't know what happened there. Hit a man have been seen. Well, that's fair. Okay, let's start getting over here then. Oh, fuck me. Unit coming back from routing there. Let's ignore that one, please. Oh! Oh! Oh, it was beautiful. Oh, that's gonna be even more beautiful. Oh my god. Uh, no, I'm not gonna have you fight anyone, actually. Zhang Fei's uh, perfectly happy murdering everyone right now, so let's keep doing that. I got a couple spare units right here. Oh, hello, hello. Speaking of spare units. Okay, you guys had a fucking field there. Let's keep killing those archers, though. You guys, yeah, you charged in here as well. Let's get you out of there now. Okay, yeah, just get in here now. You keep murdering him, please. Okay, you've done that. Let's get in here now. You guys have absolutely molested the shit out of all these units here. That's fantastic. Uh, this unit's still on its way. Let's get in here just after that one gets his charge off. And the warriors are running. Oh! Oh! Oh, look at that number! <laughs> look at that number disappear. I love it. I don't know if we're being shot at all. Oh, yeah, but there's some shooting right there, so that's perfect. We gotta kill him, though. We're not doing too well on the killing him front. Uh, where's our other cat? Okay, you're over here. Yeah, go kill them off. You keep killing these units, make sure they don't come back anymore. And don't you come back! Our success looms large. Ooh, are we about to win this one? This is one of those fights where I do have to kill everything off if I can. That went fantastically well. Better than I anticipated, I'm not gonna lie. Still gotta kill... Nope, everyone's routed now. Okay, good. Right, let's get over here. Kill stuff over there, please. You kill here. You keep this guy occupied or something. I don't know. I don't know. Victory. Alright. Good shit. Uh, Cav. Yes, you guys. Gotta keep murdering stuff, please. You are murdering that unit there. Still a couple dudes more to kill. We gotta kill enough that we can just kind of auto resolve the remainder of the battle after this which is still we need to kill a lot to be able to do that to be honest but we are killing a lot so that's possible that's only three dudes 45 12 there's not a whole lot left here to be honest kill those 126 reclaimers maybe i don't know if it's worth trying to kill him i don't think i'll be able to actually do so you might want to do something other than killing this one guy so let's come over here uh, you... I don't know if we're gonna... Yeah, I don't think we're gonna be able to kill him either. Let's ignore that. You guys have done well chasing that unit around. What's over here? 56 men. Definitely should keep killing them. What about you? What are you killing here? Yep, that's enough for me to kill still as well. You guys are coming back to kill something. Let's ignore that. Let's actually come over here instead. Help one you out. You're killing them slowly. Killing me softly. You are just doing nothing. What the fuck do you, do you... What the hell do you think you're doing, friend? What incarnation do you think you're doing? I'm sending you here. Okay, let's just get you over here instead then. 8, 7... Let's just ignore them. I think they might be dead. 4... This is all dead as well, though. No, that's, it's already dead. That's all dead, too. You've done well, apparently. Okay, let's... Well, whatever, then. I don't care about you anymore. Here, however, four, they're probably gone, three, they're gone, 45. Let's kill them. Uh, yeah, 13. I'll be able to kill them off. Liu Bei, you're still killing three, that's fine. 22, oh, they just disappeared. That must be the edge of the map right there. Oh, no, never mind. I thought I saw something disappear, but I didn't. I'm lying to you and to myself. Uh, kill these peasant spearmen. I think we're honestly going to be able to almost straight up take the tanks, take the town straight up. But no, probably not. But I think we have killed so much that it's not going to be a problem anymore. At least to auto resolve the rest of it. You guys have been chasing that one unit forever. Ever, 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 ever. 
Uh, 12, yeah, go on then, kill them off. How are you doing over there? Zhang Fei. Free, you just killed that unit off. Alright, I think uh, that should be should be good enough. Close victory, what, what, what the fuck was that? What's close about that? Get out of here, yeah, they got 120, I got 30 men remaining total in these two forces. That was pretty fucking sweet, if I do say so myself. And I did. I did just say that myself. We also captured Fan Huizen. Which probably completely butchered that name, I'm sorry. We get a hundred bucks or a noble sword. The, this kind of thing is going to be worth, this ancillary is going to be worth a lot more than a hundred income. And I don't care about her friends and rivals. She doesn't have any friends and rivals anyway. So I don't care about her. So I'm definitely taking this sword, thank you. Uh, oof. 8% is a fair amount of replenishment. I've, honestly, this is tempting, but we have quite a bit of money already. And not a lot to spend it on, so I'm actually going to take the replenishment right now. Especially because I now have to take the town anyway. Sweet. Speaking of take- oh, hold on. Corrupt official, your siege continues with no side yielding any ground. Well, that's not entirely fair, we're about to take this. Starvation and disease must be taken hold, yet still they do not relent. One morning, however, a bird arrives from beyond the walls with a message. A local official will open the gates for a price and let your troops through. Uh, no. Thank you. Because this is now mine. Pyrrhic victory? You can't- there's 84 guys. I don't think I want to delegate this one. <laughs> <laughs> There's 84 men. I don't care how fucking strong towers are. This. <laughs> God damn it. Alright, I'm going to fight this one too. Alright, let's hold on. I gotta level up for uh, Zhang Fei. Okay, we can get guerrilla deployment for his own retinue and. Oof, and he's gonna have shock cav as well as his retinue. Uh, and chance of ambushing 25%. Wow, so you can get 100% in some places because there's some places that have 80% chance. Uh, that would be really good if he was a prime minister or heir. Uh, or we can get oh charge bonus for own retinue, which right now doesn't do a whole lot, but it will do a lot when he gets his um, his shock cavalry. It's gonna be insane when he gets his shock cavalry. Actually, I think for the moment though, since he doesn't yet, we're gonna go for this one, the guile. That's pretty solid. Solid snake. Ooh, there we go. All right, so you want to get that authority mount? Got a new weapon, but not gonna be for him. He's got slightly better weapons. Just slightly. Um, what else we got? We got a, a noble sword, right? Okay, we don't want that. Character ranks gained, yes. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. Um, so, yeah, the final fight is going to be these two people and that unit. That's literally it. <laughs> Why can't I just take it? Why does it have to be a fucking Pyrrhic victory? Um, okay, we got anything else to do? We're already building that. We're uh, not building anything here because we can't. We need these forms done. Yeah, alright, fine. I'll fight this one. Pyrrhic victory in my ass. I'm not going to take that. Start. I mean, what exactly... Do we even have to do here? We literally just use his ability, Liu Bei's ability, we run up to the wall, climb up, kill the remaining units, or just have our archers kill whatever is up there. Uh, okay, well let's see where the easiest way to attack from would be. I don't need to open the gate or anything, I just need to avoid as many towers as possible. Looks like I'm gonna get shot by two either way though. At least, possibly three. The downside of these towers is that they can still fire all the way over here, but if I attack here it would be... That one and the gate and this one. That's free still. It's, it's not much better though, to be honest. I can't set up here. So even if I wanted to go to this corner bit, I'd still get shot by that one the whole way, so that doesn't help. Um Yeah, I think I think I'm gonna get shot by free regardless, so it would either be like here or there. I guess here is a little bit better. We got the forest as well for cover. Alright. Uh, you can park this in front of the gate just in case I need it, but we likely won't. It's gonna be all up to the archers this fight, I think. Well, except for killing the generals, we have to kill the generals ourselves. Uh, so Liu Bei protecting you with his ability, that's gonna be okay. Then you guys are a bit wounded, but I'll still use you, and then I'll use like a couple of like less wounded units there. 
Uh, and of course, the f two of you can come over as well, just for funsies. And the cavalry is probably not going to be used here. I'll park them over here. And the last two units are not going to be used. I'll park them over here too. All right, let's get up here. Oh, and our units are actually in the middle, so it's literally just to get up, climb up here, and then we have to go for all these damn towers. Oh, God. Okay. Uh. Oh, hold on. You guys need to be fucking back off. Back off. Towers will mess you up. Pretty fast. Uh, I don't know if I use my ability already. I guess I will. Oh, keep fucking going, boys. You guys. Climb up there. You guys climb up there. Actually, climb up there so we can capture that one immediately. I don't need this many fucking units climbing up here. What the hell? What am I doing? Let them climb over here then. Shit, you wanna die? You fit and die? Alright. It's uh it's gonna be painful, but I'm just gonna triple speed it, honestly. I shouldn't have put my archers up here because they're just kinda blocking my own troops from going there. Now over the walls. Get there quick, boys. So yeah, this this is not really doing a whole lot. In fact, I should probably tell them to stop firing. Just use them only to fire at that unit to make it right. Because we're not doing a whole lot of damage for archers there. Right, capture the gate. Uh, you guys capture this one, please. Get down here. Get down here. Okay, the gatehouse needs to be captured from down here, of course. I totally forgot about that. These are actually going to die soon. I'd rather not lose any entire units if I can avoid it here. Okay, let's... Yeah, this is not good. If I can capture the gate, though, I can get these guys inside. But it looks like, yeah, it's being decapped again. But he's running away, so that's going to be okay again. I need to have someone capture this... Uh, these gate, these towers as well, though. I know it's gonna get shot to pieces by now. And we don't want that either! Alright, let's get you guys inside, and the archers too. Archers are gonna do most of the damage here. What the fuck? I can click on the tower and get like a camera. All the okay, that's interesting. How interesting. Get you guys over here as well. We're now being shot by this tower here. The range on those is mahusif. Okay, we've taken this tower as well. Or not yet. Now we have. I was going to say we're still being shot, as far as I can tell. Uh, your ability is back. Okay, that's good. Um, you got to go capture the next point. Is that guy going to come over? Let's use a couple stronger units, I think. Everyone's fucking tired as heck. It's not good. Let's triple speed again. We're not taking any damage right now, so there's no reason not to. Where the hell did you guys come from? Where did you go? Where did you come from, Cut Nigel? Also, apparently if you take the tower, it doesn't shoot anymore. What the hell is that all about? What in tarnation? Okay, so I won a couple... S Halberd units. Oh my god, can I please select that one? Thank you. Uh, that aren't incredibly tired and aren't almost dead like that one. Are you guys... Are you resting or what? I might be, there must be like one or two guys. I mean, this unit's still running full on, but these guys I'm pretty sure are just all there, right? I don't know why they're so tired. Okay, there's not anymore. Well, they're still tired, just not as tired. Okay, there you go. They've actually lost... How is this unit still tired then? I'm confused. Are you running, like, in place or something? No, you're pretty damn stationed. Okay, there you go. They're, they're starting to become less tired, too. All right, we don't have to min-max this one too much. Let's just take this tower here. Let's go beyond it. And then when we get shot again... We use that. And then... Plop the arches up here somewhere. 
don't know how we're going to do it, but... Boom. Like that. Oh, except then an archer goes over there. Let's not do that. Alright, take this tower too. And then we literally just park you guys up here. Archers. Behind them. Generals. Behind them too. Alright. We're not being shot by anything. No, we are. We're being shot by something. I don't know what. We're losing men. Why are you taking damage? From what? I have no idea. Anyway, archers. I don't know if they're taking damage. It's They're blinking, but they're not actually taking any damage as far as I can tell. Right, I want you to fire at the reclaimers. Not at this un these units, if you can. Apparently all of you are still running. You're in combat? What the f... Is there like a, a dude or something around here? Like an enemy guy, just like... Wandering the battlefield or something. I don't know. Also, you're on fire at will. Are you all st Wait, you're all either in. What the hell's going on? Just fire, alright? Okay, there you go. I was gonna say. Okay, well, that. I mean, they've got shields and all, but I can't imagine. Oh, especially if they're facing the wrong way. They're not gonna last that long, I imagine. Shut up and die. Alright, Pet Yuan Shao wants to fight, apparently, but he doesn't actually want to fight. What if I just make the army rout by killing off this entire unit? The duck and weave, boys. Oh, this is nice. People, people always ask me if I can zoom in, so... Oh, did they have shroud? Hold on. Yeah, they've routed, so... Uh, I guess I don't have to kill every single one of them off. Right, kill this guy. I'm just gonna waste all my ammo and then just do as much damage as possible, basically. Who's firing over here every time? It's because he's running in circles, isn't it? He's wasting all of ammo. It doesn't matter, though. We're not gonna... Like, we're just gonna waste all the ammo anyway and then just go in and kill them all. Kill them all! Do they actually want a jewel? That guy does. He's a healer. Fuck yeah. Oh. And dead. Oh, he just oh, ran away, okay. Oh, he actually did that. Oh, we won though. Nice one. Get back here and fight! Alright, well done. I don't know why the healer decided. Ooh. Guan Yu. <laughs> I've heard stories. I think I can take him on. He's, he's not all that they say he is. He's just a guy. He's not good. Alright, Occupado. Sweet. Alright, so now we actually still have enough food because we have a... we have jetties, which is nice. So here's the, here's the thing, right? I was talking about how to specialize uh, provinces, essentially. Um... And here's a, a good question. It's like, how do we pro how do we specialize this one? Because we have the jetties. We can't change this or anything. We, this is a food building. We either get a bunch of food from it, uh, or we can make it into full-on commerce income as well. Um, income from spice. Interesting. Trade in oh my god, that's actually pretty insane. Trade influence. So we, we lose the food from it. But So basically, what it, it looks like, what we want to do here, is we want to we increase this all the way up to this like income from commerce and things like that. We just forget about the food, essentially. And then we upgrade this into extra income from... Oh, it takes five turns to convert that. Are you kidding me? Income from uh, industry, because because we have free income from industry here as well. And then the last couple buildings, so probably not this one, but other buildings, we would probably build something that gives us um, like extra. I'm not sure. I think it might be this one, for example. Yeah, income from commerce and income from industry. So we want to have buildings like that, essentially. Um, but for the moment, it's nice that we get a little bit of extra food, because otherwise we are going to run out at some point. I don't know if I want this building. I think it's nice to have one of these in every single province, but for the moment, I think there's better options. Um, like the inn building that gives us more money from commerce and actual money from commerce, like a percentage income and actual income. I think that's probably a good one. I I, I mean, yeah, making more money is not really a bad idea, is it? Um, so yeah, I'm going to demolish this one for now. And I'm going to... Do I convert this one over first? I think this guy is done here soon, isn't he? Oh, he's actually already done. Okay, well, we put him in here then. 
Do the same thing. Convert this. It doesn't make me any more money. It just gives me learning and market building construction cost reduction. So it doesn't actually help that much. I think I'd rather increase this or build something else here entirely. That could work too. If I do this right now, I basically just waste the turn of doing something. So I should do something that takes less time anyway. The same goes here. Anything I do right now is basically wasted by the fact that that guy is going to come here and reduce the turn for one, by one turn anyway. At which point you may as well just reset it because it saves money. So I guess I just won't build anything right now. Um, but yeah, we've taken all that. Killed a bunch of folk. Um, we're now bored. Oh, we can actually... Oh, he's actually still owns that, so he's not actually... Just hasn't killed off the faction. Interesting to know. Are we bordering anyone? We know you one Shao. I think I want to get an aggression back with him if he's interested. 4.3. I think we can get there without too much cost. Um, because I, I think I'd like to s keep him on my good side for the moment. Um... So let's see what if I make it work. We have to pay him almost three grand, which is a lot of money. Um, what about an ancillary? Have I got anything that you could, that you might want? Character experience and cunning, or the six of forty six satisfaction thing. Uh, these are worth like four and a half, aren't they? Four point. Oh my goodness. Uh, it's let's see. Actually, how what is that again? Tell me. Where's that sword gone? I wish I could give him that sword. For cunning. It's not a bad one, to be honest. Um, I think I'd rather... I'd rather give him this one and then just add a little bit of extra money. Although, let's see how much money that would be. Oh, it doesn't... Damn it. I could also give him this 6 of 40, 6 satisfaction. Let me have a look here. Hold on. Because I already gave one of those to you, right? So I have another one? Or is it just taking it from you? That'd be kind of annoying. Um, that's weird. Wait, what if I? No, yeah, it's just that's that's that one. Okay, I don't I don't know. We only have one. It's pretty weird. We can give that one away, but we can't give other ones away that we currently have equipped. So that's a bit weird. Anyway, um, I'll um I'll still do it. I'll trade you the shitty one. That I don't care too much about, and then I'll take some. I'll pay some money as well. Oh, sorry, not request. Sorry, make payments. That's gonna have to be quite a bit for him to be happy with this, I think. But maybe another one and a half grand. Just about. Make sure I. Yeah, maybe one more tick. There you go. So yeah, fifteen hundred bucks basically. But we have quite a bit of money, so I'm okay with that. Non aggression pack's gonna help us a lot here. Start becoming friends with him. We we'll probably get trade with him at some point too. He's only got one trade uh, route, but we'll, we'll have more ava available soon. Okay, um, replenishing the armies. I could make the switch finally of having the right units in every place, but I don't think I care enough about that. We're not going to upgrade any buildings because we'll do that next turn. So let's end the turn, and then I think we'll end the episode. I don't know how long this one's been going on for, but oh well. There's one Yuan Shao who's just taken the farmland. So I guess I'm glad. That I got a non-aggression back with him because he's right there. Yuan Shao is dead. Liu Bei seeks allies in times of strife. The commandery of Dong Hai on the east coast is rich in resources and trade potential. We can either seize this coastal town for our own benefit or we improve relation relations with the owner and confederate or ally with them, which is currently owned by uh, Tao Quan. Okay. Cool. Uh, we got Path of Glory, Population Growth, Public Order, and Income from Piss and Tree. Ah, and here is the event that I've been waiting for for a while. Tao Quan's Call for Aid. Your relationship with Tao Quan runs deep. Long have you held him in high regard. Yet one of his treacherous officers is responsible for the murder of Cao Song and his son, Cao Cao, marches to vengeful war upon Tao Quan. He has asked you for your aid against this aggressor. So this is something that happened in the story. Um, basically, it was kind of a misunderstanding, if I remember correctly. Um, but uh, yeah, one of Tao Quan's officers killed Cao Cao's dad. Um, and Cao Cao became kind of mad about that, which, you know, is fair. So we can follow the story, which is to aid Tao Quan, uh, which may be seen as an act of treachery. We will be going to war with Cao Cao, and Cao Cao will be going to war with Tao Quan as well, but Tao Quan will love us. Um, or we can refuse to help, uh, and then uh, Cao Cao will go to war with Tao Quan, and we 
like T uh, Tata, but I, I want to, I think in all my campaigns, we're probably going to follow the story. So we're going to be going to war on Tata. Nice. Liu Bei declared war on Tata, and Tata declared war on Taquan. Cool. Uh, we demolished that building, so we got a bunch of stuff. But before we do anything else, also, you just kind of hang out. You want me to murder you, or what? What are you doing here? Um, so yeah, we're next time we're going to uh, probably build something here that takes a single turn to build or something. Like the inn for some extra income. <laughs> I'm going to leave it there. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Until next time, have a good day and goodbye.